Hi guys, this is Chris with IPGRentals.com and today we're going to talk about the importance of using ND filters and faders, especially on DSLR or mirrorless cameras and especially outdoors. Let's check it out. So right now I want to do a little experiment here about ND filters and DSLR or mirrorless lenses outside. Right now I'm looking down the barrel of our FS7 and that has ND built into it and right now I think we're at 1 16th of an ND um, going on that camera so everything is nicely exposed. But right now I'm going to turn over to the A7S II and you can see it's pretty uh, blown out right now and the reason being uh, we are open with the lens because we want to have uh, the background uh, gone as far as the depth of field but you can't do that if you don't have any kind of neutral density filter and those cameras, mirrorless DSLR, typically don't have any kind of switchable ND inside of it. So what we can do is we actually have ND faders they're called and what it is is it's a piece of glass and it has the neutral density filter on it and what you'll do is as you turn it it lets less light into the camera uh, and this is really twofold because again it cuts the light down but the second really great feature is it's pretty seamless as far as when you turn it and it's smooth uh, it doesn't make a huge uh, visual mess when you're doing it because when you cut down your aperture uh, when you're shooting you can see there's a hard aperture stop click you can see it you can hear it uh, and it's pretty ugly to see and nine times out of ten you know no company is going to be happy seeing you know hard aperture changes during a shot but when you have that and it slowly goes down, uh, you know, it's much more acceptable. So Frankie, go ahead and do the honors. We're gonna have our camera off Frankie and he's gonna slowly turn it until I get to a nice, clean, uh, properly exposed look. So how's that looking, Frankie? Good? All right, so he says good. So right now, without changing anything, and he's pretty wide open uh, on his camera as to wash out this background, which is what we wanted. It's a nicer look. We have the ND filters uh, a fader to do that. Now there's only one con to a fader. If you go all the way down to where it gets super dark you'll start to see some lens distortion so when you get past a certain point you'll start to see that it, uh, it starts to turn to a little bit of mush so you need to be very careful of that. So just to recap we have an ND fader on there and to take down your exposure all you do is you rotate it in the direction and it slowly brings your light up or it slowly brings it down uh, depending on which direction you need to go in. So that about sums it up. Now at IPGRentals.com we're constantly adding new content online so you can see tips and tricks about the gear that we rent. So please like us, comment, and subscribe. And remember, IPGRentals.com, it's our gear, it's your vision.